Hey there, welcome to day 11. And today we are going to celebrate and meditate on the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter. So again, today's readings, you can go on the USCCB, go look up the calendar and pull up February 22nd to view that calendar and to see all of today's readings. Um, Tony did go ahead and put all those readings in here. So if you wanted to look those up in your own Bible or in your Missal, if you have one. And we're going to get started with prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. And O oh, Blessed Lady, spread the effective grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Um, let me see. So he is... On, in the book, he's take he's taken just a small snippet of the gospel. So let's look at the gospel. I will read the, the whole gospel for you. It's from Matthew 16. Come Holy Spirit, help us. Woo, hear your words, O oh Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall never prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The gospel of the Lord. Awesome. So Tony just takes out that little part that's like, you know, who do people say that the son of mine is? And then he asked him, well, who do you say that I am? And he says, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. God gave Peter the graces to be insightful enough to know and recognize Jesus as the Savior. Peter was clearly a very flawed individual. All throughout scripture, he seemed to be a bit, a bit passionate, right? <laughs> you see a lot of him being very passionate in his coming and goings. Often he would say or react impulsively and end up putting his foot in his own mouth. He believed in the Lord, but oftentimes would have doubts. Even as Jesus' passion, in a moment of fear, Peter ended up denying him three times. This after saying he would die with the Lord if it came down to proving his loyalty. Remember, so like Christ is preparing them and saying, my time is coming soon. And, and Peter's like, I will die beside you and, and show you my loyalties. But then literally... They're like, aren't you the guy? Aren't you one of his disciples? And Peter's like, that's not me. It's not me. Um, so, And he denied it three times. The good news for us is that Peter was a real person. He was very human in every sense of the word. If Peter, who is now considered one of the greatest saints and the first pope of Christ's church, can make it to heaven, so can we. The question to us is the same one Jesus asked his disciples over 2,000 years ago. Who do you say that I am? And that's something that we really want to ask ourselves. Who 
is Jesus to us? Who is he in our lives? Is he our best friend? Is he like the person we go to when we're anxious or stressed out? Ponder this. In what ways do you sometimes doubt the Lord in your life? Do you take the opportunity to say who Jesus is when others need to hear it? Do you truly believe that Jesus is the Savior of your life? So take these readings and meditate on those today as we celebrate the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful um, scripture to give people that kind of struggle with why the Catholic Church has Pope um, or even reconciliation. Like what authority do our priests have in the confessional? And this is a beautiful scripture to meditate on because it is exactly on this rock. I will build my church. And so if you have been struggling with some of the current um, issues with the Pope. Um, you know, the thing is, is he's still our father and he's still guiding our church. And even in the midst of confusion, we still love him and we pray for him. But you don't have to believe everything that comes out of his mouth. Just like you may have an opinion and I may have an opinion and we could disagree, but we can still love one another as God calls us to love one another in our Christian faith and pray for one another. And I'm sure we have plenty of family members or friends that we can relate that to, right? Um, we may have a friend that's Catholic or Christian and they're living a life that's like, but is that really Christian? And the thing is, is yes, we want to watch the fruit and yes, we want to judge that fruit. But we don't want to go around poking holes in people and their actions in a judgmental way. Because in reality, if we stop focusing on what they're doing wrong and we start focusing on Christ and what we can do right, then we can be that light of Christ. And we can be that beacon of hope that this is the true church and this is the path that God has for us. This is the fullness of faith. And we can keep giving that faith and that hope to those who are maybe shaken in their faith right now. And we can ground ourselves in this chair of St. Peter, knowing that this is a rock. It's a rock that was founded and established by our Lord Jesus Christ. So God bless you. Have a great day. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have a great one, and we'll see you tomorrow.